Thank you very much. Yes, I'm here to talk about the Jetson TX2. And I am the curriculum lead at Udacity, which is an online learning company. I'm the curriculum lead for the robotics nanodegree program. And one of the features of the program is that we are using the Jetson TX2 as our hardware platform. Students get a discount, in fact, if they use it. So what I'm going to do first is give you kind of an overview of what the Jetson does, why you would use it, and then give you a few application examples that we've used in the classroom. First of all, the Jetson is a computer on a credit card size platform card. And it's got all kinds of great stuff. It's got a GPU uh, with 256 CUDA cores. It's got a CPU that has a, I think it's a dual Denver and a quad ARM CPU. It has eight gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of memory, and all kinds of I.O. that can be broken out from the board. That includes I2C, GPIO, USB, Bluetooth, internet, by Wi-Fi. It's got camera outputs, video inputs. You can connect a drive to it, all kinds of things. And it is, as, as mentioned, AI at the edge. The whole idea here is that you would have your whole computer right there at the source. You wouldn't need to, for example, take in sound and send it to the cloud to have it decomposed into text and sent back so that you don't have to worry about uh, delays in the cloud, lack of connectivity. You can work real-time inference very quickly right at the source. It's small. It's low power. And it's secure because, of course, or it can be secure, depending on how you implement it, because you don't have to use that uh, interface with the rest of the world. So this is uh, what AI at the Edge comes to. Now, the kinds of applications you might use might be a quadcopter. It's lightweight. You can do inference with the quadcopter as it flies around. Mobile robots looking to determine where they are in the world. Industrial robots also and visual systems such as, let's say, smart cities or security cameras of some sort that are looking for certain people, some kind of inference that uses uh, maybe a visual input. Here's an example. For example, um, NVIDIA has a project that you could actually implement yourself online with a quadcopter that uses this inference by training um, a, ne a neural network and downloading that into the Jetson, and the neural network will determine where a path is. And this is just a project that you can try. The path wouldn't have to be a woodland path. This one was trained that way. But you could use it for, say, pipelines or uh, sidewalks or all kinds of things that would use inference in real time to follow a path. So the, but like I said, a, a deep neural network is what you would use for visual na navigation. <clears throat> now. The quadcopter used, <laughs> used this little uh, credit card size Jetson with uh, some kind of breakout board that connected to the cameras. But for if you're getting started with the Jetson, you would probably want the development kit. That's what this is. It's a picture of the development kit. The Jetson is on board. This is something that NVIDIA sells. I think it goes for about $600, unless you're a student, say, at Udacity or some university, and you would get it for half price. So right here, we're seeing the Jetson, but it's really um, covered up because of it's got a fan and a heat sink on it. But there's lots of other things that you can get to on the development board. You can get to, I think you can't see all that. Yeah, you can. The PCI um, SATA for hard drive, if you wanted to connect that. A UART camera. There are all sorts of I.O. that you can get to on this GPIO, the headers there. Um, and the usual suspects that you might see on a PC motherboard. This is really what this is like. It's like a motherboard. You can get to the Ethernet, the SD card, HDMI, USB, all of that, Wi-Fi. So basically, you can build your development kit into a computer, hook up the display, hook up the keyboard. Um, all of these things run Ubuntu Linux is, is what you would run on it. And it's got a GPU. So you've got this powerful little computer that you can actually use and develop on and then ideally deploy it for your project and your application. So now for the fun stuff. 
I'm going to give you an inference example. NVIDIA has some downloadable, um, it's called Two Days to a Demo, shows you how to set up the Jetson with the development kit and gives you some software to start with that allows you to work on classification, um, object detection, and segmentation. And with these tools, what you can do is you can download an already pre-built um, neural network with AlexNet or GoogleNet, if, you've, if you're familiar with those architectures, that has already been trained with 1,000 objects from the ImageNet database. And what you can do with that is then, um, <laughs> this, is, this is me just sticking some things in there. Here's an orange. I don't know if you can see in the upper left shows that it's uh, the percentage of probability that this is, here's a banana. Um, and interestingly enough, a toy zebra actually is recognized as a zebra. So that's great. I, what I'm not showing here is the elephants, lions, and tigers that I put on here that all came out dogs <laughs> for some reason. So it's, it's, uh, you can't use it quite the way it is. What you need to do is create your own data set and retrain the system, which you can do with uh, digits, which is available from NVIDIA also. They give you kind of the path to do this, and then you can retrain it. This is an example of uh, a CD in our group, uh, uh, Kyle, who has, for an example for students, this, uh, if you look right in the middle, I don't know if you can tell, but right up there in the middle, that is actually a development kit mounted above this, <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, mounted above the, um, the, the conveyor belt. And what he's done is he's simply trained, trained the uh, DNN to, to recognize boxes and bottles, and then actuated a lever to reject the boxes. And the idea here was to show students how you could um, use whatever pictures you wanted to to train the network to actuate a robotic system. Okay, so now in addition to classification, we also want to do reinforcement learning. And a couple of weeks ago at the GTC conference, uh, Udacity hosted a workshop where our roboticist, here you see Erica, um, set up a, a small robot that students were, well, apple, uh, people in the conference workshop attendees were able to wire up to a, a TX2 and then learn how to, it's called lights out. What it is, it's kind of like, kind of like whack-a-mole. I'm going to show you here. Maybe it's easier to show you. So the arm looks for the light, and then it, it hits the, the button to turn out the light. But it starts out knowing nothing, because that's what reinforcement learning is about. Reinforcement learning starts out and, and learns by trial and error. So this was an example, and we do have uh, all the software. You can download it. You can build this. We have instructions, and I'm going to give you the links in a minute. And it was a lot of fun. Everybody enjoyed it. And it's meant to be a launch off point for you if you want to try this uh, to move on to more complex reinforcement learning uh, problems. So anyway, that's what it is. And if you want to take the robotics nano degree program, here is the link, udacity.com slash robotics. And there's some of the projects to try, and I'm going to tweet them out too. So any questions? <laughs>